Hey guys, well, we're out here at the Keystone Nationals here in New Alexandria, Pennsylvania. Coming at you guys here. We're gonna do a quick walk. I say quick, it's gonna be a long. So just get bear down and stay tuned for this video because you do not wanna miss a minute of it. There are some nasty rides out here, guys. So if anybody's not familiar with Keystone Nationals, that is put on by Iron City Promotions. Um, this year, they took the show over and they're gonna make a heck of a show out of it. And we've only got three classes running tonight. So we have youth full size. They're competing for like, I think it's a thousand dollars and literally a fully built car ready to go. How cool. Um, then we also have compact, so it's like a stock compact. And then we have what's called their super stock full size division. And they are gonna be here tearing it up. They have multiple heats of these guys and a feature. It's 10K to win. So if you want a kind of an idea of what kind of caliber drivers and cars are sitting out here in the pits, that's what they're uh, trying to win. So we're gonna go ahead. This is the initial lineup. There's a whole bunch more still in through the inspection line, trying to get through and out in the pits. But we're gonna walk around, show you guys all the cars as we always do in our preludes. As always, we'll make sure to post individual links to all the heats in the description below. So definitely wanna make sure to check those out. And we're going to, out of respect for the drivers, try not to get too close to the rides. Some of these guys have spent a lot of time building, and I don't want to have any issues with showing more than what they want. So we're going to kind of keep a distance here, give you guys just a little taste of what there is to come in the individual heats. You're bound to see some names you've seen run this season that we've captured. And we're going to keep on walking to this side because I think there's more room to walk. So it's a little bit of everything. We got some new iron. We got a lot of old iron coming out of the woodworks for this show. And again, based on some of the names and builds that we've seen, it ought to be a pretty tough show. Now, I'm not entirely sure how these vehicles are arranged as far as, you know, which heat is which here. So you're going to have to kind of stay tuned for that. But... Obviously, as they drive out, you'll get to see it, but um, these are the ones that have fully passed tech and are ready to go. So again, we got some square bodies. We've got a Roadmaster wagon that we just showed. Then we got a caddy, probably an early 70s caddy. Just honestly don't know where you guys continue to find these old iron cars. It just must be a nice stash somewhere. The Undertaker, we got Mr. Deadman Derby himself out here ready to tear it up. Uh, again, if you guys don't know Dead Man Derby, check them out on Facebook. We're going to be actually filming their buried alive show here at the end of October. And he is always one to put on a show, so you definitely want to keep an eye on him. And not to glaze over this car, we're not going to go in super close for him, but uh, Mike Klinger is here with one of his caddies, so it ought to be a nice, tough competition. And then there's a few more up here, so we're going to kind of wander up and see what else there is to see. <laughs> And we got a couple more here and then after these guys we're just gonna have to start kind of wander through the pits and start working our way towards that inspection line. So as always, if you guys do see your, your car or one of your buddy's cars, give us a shout out in the comments below with a bit of a timestamp as far as when the vehicle showed up, any shout outs, you know, that kind of thing. Perfect to drop those in the comments. I'm gonna stay back to give them some privacy, but there's actually a wedding going on, guys. There is a, literally a wedding going on right now out on the track. Somebody's getting married here at the Keystone Nationals. How cool is that? 
I mean, if you're a true die-hard derby fan to be married out here on, you know, potentially your home track, I don't know these people, but it could be, how cool is that? Definitely some thought for inspiration, but congratulations to those guys. How cool. Married couple coming off their track for their final ride. got some of our vendor areas so we got Jeffy's Fab Farm if you're not familiar with Jeffy's Fab Farm definitely check them out on both Facebook and online at jeffysfabfarm.com keep up your good work hey man appreciate it thank you so definitely check these guys out they're gonna be they're all over the place at all different events they're sponsoring all over the place some of the best derby products you can buy definitely make sure to check them out we've also got a sickles racing over here buying all kinds of different cores uh, some different vendors as well We've got Ruts Fab, if you're not familiar with them, definitely want to check those guys out. Um, they build some some of the best tires and wheels and rims. Kind of give you a flavor. We'll just kind of run in here between all the people and show you some of their product offerings. So definitely check those guys out. There's, uh, if I can get my camera to work, some of their information. Check them out on Facebook. All right, so now we're over in the inspection line. We're going to catch some of these guys as they're getting up into inspection. At this point, everybody should have already gone through or at least in line. So these guys are still waiting to get their chance through or they're getting reteched. Alright, so now at this point, we've seen all the cars that were in the lineup already, so now we're just going to start wandering through the pits, see what we can see. We've got a series of cars, some that have been through tech, some that have not. That's what I'm picturing. Sour with Most Wanted Fine Arts. Definitely check Most Wanted Fine Arts out on uh, Facebook. Cool, we've got nothing but a ton of stickers on the entire thing. Cars just in the woodwork everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. First compact we've come along, so they're going to be running the street stock compacts. How you guys We're Brady. We got it. back in here.
even got power wheels getting some last minute modifications made. How about that? That's pretty cool. It's always a little more complicated as I'm walking through the, the pits versus the lineup. So hopefully I capture everything for you. Now this is a really awesome paint job. I'm going to say this was all airbrushed. Hey, check that out, guys. Hey, it's different on the other side. I'll make sure to get it. This is pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully this is translating through on camera all right for you guys. That's pretty darn cool. I love it when people go and paint up their cars because you know you only get to do this so often. It's something we've always made sure to do, so I love it. So again, we got a bunch more cars over here. Apologize for the music in the background. Hopefully, it, we can kind of drown it out a little bit because YouTube certainly doesn't like it when we were playing music in videos, but. Maybe I can drown it out with them, my voice. A lot of last minute modifications, cars needing to go through tech. So, ought to be a heck of a show worth waiting for here. And got all kinds of power wheels here. There we go, we got you. <laughs> Ooh, look at Frank on offer him. Frank's on offer him. <laughs> now we're kind of into, uh, I guess, the more of the overflow, but this is like the youth in the compact area. So I'm pretty sure most of these cars are all either youth, youth or compacts. Seen a few of these cars run before. I believe we may have seen this car run at one of the hardcore shows before. So, yeah, and these are more of pretty consistent with the hardcore show rules. They're, you know, pretty stock build. Can't really do tons, but you can swap the bumpers, uh, tires, rims, tank and shifters, and those sorts of things. Just the bolt-ins, but can't do much more than that. Uh, ought to have no problem seeing this car out on the track. Almost missed this car over here. We got one more tucked over here in the end. And we got just a handful more along the back row. And then I think we've got everybody. There's 
a lot of cars here honestly have no idea you know I always say this is gonna be a short walk around through the pits but we all know that's a lie um, so I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna be in the run the 20 to 30 minute mark here when by the time we're all said and done but definitely gonna be a heck of a show based on what you guys have seen uh, comment below what's your thoughts you think it's gonna be a good show make your predictions before you actually see the individual heats um, as always, you know, invite you guys to have some chats and conversations down there. And again, shout outs if you see your vehicle or your buddy's car. And then now we still got some full-size youth sprinkled in here and there. And over here was the, uh, I believe, the inspection area for the compacts and the youth full size. So shout out to Hardcore Derby Promotions. We've been to a number of their shows and check out this purchase, guys. It is a an Atlas lift mounted to a trailer. So now they can go and actually do tech with a lift, which I think is a great idea. Uh, you know, it's very user friendly. And obviously, if you need a lift in your own shop, then this is kind of a good multi-purpose, but great for doing your inspections. And I think we got the last small row of vehicles. We're going to quickly capture these guys and then we got to get running up soon because they're going to be doing the driver's meeting soon. I got to believe it based on what time it is. Grand Prix, another youth full size here. I literally was hit with the transmission, that's about a super power. Just gotta watch it, you know. More youth full size. So, man, I swear these youth guys got better built cars than what anything I've ever ran. And they know how to drive too. They'll they'll drive smart. They'll put on a show. I think they hit harder in some regards. I've seen them hit harder than the grown adults. So you guys got to pick up the pace a little bit. These little kids are gonna make a better show than you. I think this might be the last car finally walking through the pits. So there you go guys, there was a walk around through the pits here at the Keystone Nationals. Again, check out the description, we'll put individual links to all the heats in the description below. And uh, make sure to share, 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 tag, 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 appreciate all your guys' support as always. And we are in for a treat based on some of the cars, the names, all the above, even the build rules, quite honestly. Um, it is going to be a good show. I just hope these guys use the skinny pedal. Time will tell, but I'm sure they will and it'll be a good show. So make sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Consider subscribing if you've not already done so. And as always, we hope that you guys have a great day. And until the next video, we'll talk to you later.